Okay, so here I am this week. I'm going to need to put a new um, hole in my belt. So, uh, doing quite well. So, <clears throat> hold on, turn that around. Right, okay, let's have a look now. So this week I have, by some amazing miracle, probably achieved by me having a full body skin exfoliation so that none of my dead skin cells are weighing me down and I've lost three pounds. So that puts me in the 11, 13, um, 11 stone 13 pounds. So I'm quite pleased that I'm into the 11s. So that is the equivalent of 75.9 kilos. So since last week I've lost one and a half kilos, so I'm very pleased with that. So I've still got 7.9 kilos to go, or, and that is the equivalent of 17 pounds, or one stone and three pounds. So I've been on plan this week, I have gone off plan once, <laughs> whoops. Um, but I'm trying to, I am making an effort to try and, uh, you know, resist the crisps. So I think I'm doing okay so far. Obviously I could do better, but you can only try again next week. Now one thing I have noticed is obviously I've been doing my arm exercises, but I'm getting um, spare skin, wobbly skin on my arms, wobbly skin on my tummy and wobbly skin on my thighs, top of my thighs. Now obviously this skin, skin used to be padded out before with all my fat and it isn't now, it's kind of getting into loose skin type of a thing. So anyway, I've had a look on the uh, internet as to what you can do about this loose skin and what I've decided to do is the intermittent fasting. Now, Slim and Save don't recommend this. They recommend that you space your meals out regularly throughout the day. But I do find it quite difficult to eat the breakfast first thing in the morning. So all I'm doing is having it later so as soon as I feel hungry, I have my first bre my breakfast, which will be a shake usually. And um, so that's kind of started off being at like seven, but now it's about, it go, went, went up to about 11 o'clock. And then now sometimes it's even one o'clock. But if I feel hungry, I have the shake. Now this seems to be reported as being the best way to lose um, loose skin or to tighten up your loose skin is to have a longer break between meals. So that's what I'm trying to do. I, but it does take three months, at least three months for your skin to tighten up. So I thought as I'm carrying on with my further plan to lose another one stone and three pounds, I'm going to be doing that intermittent fasting when I can to just extend the time that um, I'm not eating for. So I'll my last time I eat it will be about half seven eight at night and then I might not eat again until one or two o'clock in the afternoon the next day but if I'm hungry I will have my shake so you know I'd rather do that than risk getting really hungry and then just eating something which is rubbish um, or you know if I'm going out I make sure that I'm I've got a plan as to what I'm going to be eating and make sure I eat regularly if I'm going to be near any sort of temptation. So I thought I'll just update you with that um, and I'm kind of thinking now I am going to reach my goal. I'm very positive about that um, and I'm kind of thinking what am I going to be eating once I do eat, reach my goal because I'm not going to be putting any weight back on again. So that is my kind of plan as to right once I have got to my goal I'll still continue putting the 100 grams of vegetables with anything that I eat, add an extra 100 grams of vegetables in, you know, plan when you're going to eat, plan that you've got something healthy, you know, ready. Anyway, um, I'll give you an update again next week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, or if you're feeling in a bad mood, you can dislike. It doesn't matter. All everything, Every little tick helps. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so this is just a quick uh, look at a little uh, raspberry dessert that I made.